those who are listening and watching, those who are watching by Facebook, Zoom, and those who are listening by Radio 96.7. This is the day the Lord has made. And somebody say, I will rejoice. Praise him. Say, I will rejoice. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The song says, what a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arm. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arm. Well, I'm leaning, leaning, safe, safe and secure. everlasting arms. Hallelujah. How many know what it's like to lean on Jesus? Woo, hallelujah. I trust. The songwriter said, I will trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. We're standing on our feet at this time to go before the Lord in prayer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give thanks with a grateful heart. We give thanks to you, the Holy One. We praise and magnify your wonderful name because we realize this morning that if it had not been for you who was on our side, what or where would we be? But we're glad to be in a sanctuary this morning. We enter to your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. And while we're here, we're going to be grateful unto you and bless your name because we realize you are good. And your mercy endureth forever. Meet us here, O oh God, today by the moving of your spirit. Bless all those who are in nursing homes and institutions, O oh God. Those in sick beds, touch them this morning by the power of your spirit. You are the lifter of our heads. You are still the great healer. You are still the great provider. And we trust in you, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, for healing our bodies. And thank you, O oh God, for making ways out of no ways. Thank you, O oh God, for encouraging us through your word. Send the word, O oh God, this morning that will uplift our lives, that will strengthen us. Give us more food for the journey ahead. And we will never fail to praise and magnify your name in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And our soul says, Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. If you're glad to be here, can you just bless God? Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah.
There's no one like you. Stay right there. Amen. Just parked our car right there. Come, let us adore him. Amen. Emmanuel, God with us. Mm. Mm. God with us. Amen. And if God be with us, and if God be for us, he is more than the whole world against us. Somebody say amen. Wow, praise team. Thank you. Oh, my. Uh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Wow. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. What a tremendous, awesome God we serve. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, praise team. You come back momentarily. Amen. So glad, so glad to be in the number one more time. Glad that you're here. You're here. you here. you here. You are here. All of us are here. In Jesus' name, amen. And the songwriter says, is there anybody here that loves my Jesus? Uh, anybody here loves the Lord? Amen. I want to know if you love my Jesus. I want to know if you love the Lord. Then he says, rise up and tell it if you love my Jesus. Rise up and tell it if you love my Lord. Amen. I'm, glad, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Amen. That you're here worshiping and magnifying the Lord. Amen. We're worshiping the Lord together. Amen. Somebody say together. So the writer was correct. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell the Lord. Dwell. Amen. Together. We're coming together. We're worshiping together. Amen. In unity and certainly in spirit. Lord bless you and keep you. Again, thank you so much for watching. Amen. Via Facebook, Zoom. Amen. Parking lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here in the sanctuary. Amen. This third Sunday in the month of December. Amen. What a great mighty God we definitely serve. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. It's just good. To, it's just good to give God thanks. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Give thanks with a, with a grateful heart. Amen. He proves to be so faithful in all of our lives. Thank you. Thank you. We've been blessed. It's been an absolute blessed, blessed week. Amen. Been a blessed month. In fact, the truth of the matter is, look at, look at my calendar. It's been a blessed year. Amen. That, that's, how, that's, how I, that's how I examine it. Amen. I, that doesn't mean things haven't occurred, but it's been a blessed year. Amen. It's been a blessed year. And, I, and listen, I've, I found out, amen, God has allowed us to be here, amen, keep on on your assignment, do what God has asked you to do, amen, I'm telling you, you'll certainly be a, you'll be a blessing to someone else, amen, in Jesus' precious name. Man, momentarily, we're going to receive our offering and give into the kingdom of God. What, again, what a blessing it is to give in God's kingdom. Amen. We ask that as the ushers are passing envelopes out, those who may be giving electronically via Facebook, yeah, I'm sorry, by GiveLify, by PayPal or, or Cash App, you may certainly do such. Amen. As we prepare ourselves for giving in the sanctuary this morning, as uh, Evangelist White says, we greatly appreciate your certainly your uh, faithfulness in giving. You may possess much, but you own nothing. Amen. Everything you have and I have belongs to God. And we must be good stewards of what the Lord has placed in our care. We must be good stewards of what the Lord has placed in and certainly our care. Amen. So through our tithing, our fuel off, and our building fund mortgage, however you're giving, amen, even during this particular time of the year, amen, we're giving unto the Lord. And for that, we give him the glory and the praise and certainly 
the honor. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And again, thank you for those who are in the parking lot. Thank you already in advance for your liberality and giving uh, as well. Amen. Amen. I pray everyone has been properly served. Amen. I'm going to ask, I want to ask today, I want to ask today that if you would just, just, just for the day, and then um, if you can't, uh, then uh, you can't send no more, but uh, you can sit for the rest of the service. But can you just stand up right now? Can you stand up? Can you make your way up? I appreciate that. I, I know. It's good. Just, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, standing. As we're standing to give today. As we're standing to give. As we're standing to give. As we're standing to give. Gracious Heavenly Father, with a grateful heart, with a grateful heart we give today. Thank you for allowing us to be in the sanctuary today. And all that we have needed your hands have provided. We see your handiwork all around us. We are recipients of divine favor and grace. We are a people who look beyond the present and also go into the future. And so Lord, as we are giving today, much but Lord take what we are giving to you and let us give with not only a grateful heart Lord but let it be acceptable Lord for the work of your kingdom for the upbuilding of your kingdom thank you Lord Jesus for allowing us to be good stewards of what you have placed in our care and in our possession and we give you the glory and the honor for it right now we do pray in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. As they're passing the baskets, you may be seated. Amen. I just want to, amen, as they're passing the baskets, thank you so very much. Evangelist Alicia, if you would come, would you come for the announcement you did, you did give? Thank you. Continue to keep uh, Sister Kim Watkins in prayer as she's facing major health challenges. Keep her in prayer if you would. Amen. Lady Robinson is still, uh, as she told me this morning, she's improving, so keep her in prayer as well. Amen. Glad to have. She's probably watching by Zoom or something like that. Amen. She says she's technologically uh, challenged, but she can figure some things out. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. I want Evangelist Cooper to come. I'll give that an announcement, if you would, in Jesus' name. Good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. If you're looking for that special gift, for that special someone, stop in the Christ Gospel gift shop today after service. We offer Bibles, books, mugs, CDs, and so much more. Items will be offered today at a discounted price. So we'll see you after service. Also today in the multi-purpose room, at 1 p.m., they are having, or we, the Agape Christian Love Center, Fellowship Hall, correction, it will be a Christmas giveaway, a bazaar, and they will be giving away toys and coats and hats, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So please stop by at 1 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall and take part in the Christmas Giveaway Bazaar. Amen, amen, amen. Lastly, January 9th, there will be a Soup for the Soul sale. They will have a variety of scrumptious soups available. Tix tickets must be purchased in advance. Please see M Minister Rita Davis, Sister Judy Tyler, or Professor Callender. God bless, and please bear these notices and announcements in mind. God bless you. In addition to the gift shop being open, also our thrift store will be open today following service, right outside these back doors and to the left. God bless you. Thank you, and Wawa will be open also, and Walmart and Kmart are
It's back on. Thank you. Amen. So keep those announcements in mind. We are getting ready for our uh, let's see, let's see. New Year's Eve is coming, and New Year's Day, Lord, is coming in, in ooh, not that long away, in about 10 or so, about almost two weeks exactly. Amen. So we will, uh, I'm saying that because we're going to be having our first fruits offering that's going to be taking place, amen, during that time period. We'll give more information about that on next Sunday. You'll be hearing more about that as well. Come on, praise team. They're, they're around somewhere, close proximity. They're coming back. Glad to have Pastor Matthew back and uh, Missionary Mel. Amen. <laughs>
Let's exalt our King. Hallelujah. Let's give him glory. That we seem like every time we come to church, we talk about how good God is, and you know what a mighty God we serve, and it, 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 it's like. It, and then I realize He changes not; He is the same. So if He was good last Sunday, I guess He's going to be good this Sunday also. He, if He was great last Sunday, I, I'm sure He's going to be great this Sunday. He's He's an awesome God. He's a tremendous awesome God what a mighty God so listen I don't I don't mind I don't mind cheering worshiping and praising my God continually perpetually I don't I don't mind doing that I don't mind doing that that doesn't mean I may not go through things in life amen and I'm here I'm here to tell you amen in Christendom amen understand that's a part of life. You'll go through some things in life. Somebody say life. That's a, re that's a reality. That's, that's a reality. That, that's, that's biblical. Not reality. That's biblical. Amen. But nonetheless, amen, the Lord is right there with us. And he strengthens us and he fortifies us. I, I, was, I was watching uh, Daystar this past uh, week. And it must have been on Friday night, caught my attention, just caught my, out of nowhere. Uh, and they were having a home-going service, memorial service. So I was there. And it was Marcus Lamb. So I'm saying, well, I know Marcus Lamb, I know of him. I said, this can't be the same Marcus Lamb that I and I, I sat there for a little while. I couldn't believe it. The, the uh, owner and the founder of Daystar TV. Dead? I'm not sure if it's age 65, so I'm like, dead? I'm saying, wow. And, and, and not going to all the, the aspects of it, but I was just thinking to myself, and I says, This didn't have to be. He made publicized all over the world 
don't get the vaccination. Don't get the shot. Accept you. I'm not, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to knock him. But I'm just simply saying we have influence, y'all. We have influence. And to, I mean, that just hit me up. That hit me hard. That hit me like it just knocked me down. I couldn't. It did. It just like, you know, Lady Robin's not, we like, what? And I realized we all have influence to a degree. And we have to use our influence in a godly manner. Do not politicalize your influence. If God said, then God said. If you said, then you say it. And I was just so, I was really saddened that he, he passed. I, I was really saddened by it. And so I, I just, as, as from a pastoral standpoint, do what you're supposed to do. I'm not questioning your faith. I'm not questioning your trusting God. But do what you're supposed to do. Conduct yourself in the manner that you know that you're supposed to. If you're not supposed to be going 100 miles an hour on the parkway, I trust God. Yeah, but the state trooper trusts God too. But in any case, so keep, certainly keep Daystar and that entire uh, um, uh, corporation, television station, certainly in uh, cable station in prayer, amen, as they're certainly going through their hour of bereavement. Uh, as the announcement indicated earlier, thank you so very much to all of those sponsors who did a tremendous job in supporting the Agape Community uh, Life Center. Uh, we, they were here yesterday, and I mean, they had toys and hats and gloves and coats galore. Amen. Enough hats and toys and gloves, amen, for everybody. Amen. So, uh, yeah, something even for you, Claude, something for you. But in any case, amen, we were, so after one o'clock approximately, amen, we want to be able to go in there and certainly, amen, and, and enjoy yourself. Amen. Keeping certain protocol in place uh, as well. Our second oldest uh, male is, is here today in the church. Uh, that's none other than Deacon Albert Mabry. Glad to have him with us. Brother Trim is our oldest brother. Amen. Here's Deacon Albert. And he said, I'm still kicking. I'm still kicking. That's one of his favorite expressions. I'm still kicking. I'm still kicking. We're glad to have him. And maybe he's facing some challenges, but I thank God for him being with us. Amen. This morning, in Jesus' name. On this, well, I'll, I'll get it later on. All right. Listen, um, we, didn't have, we did not um, formally put together the uh, programs we normally do uh, for uh, prior to Christmas um, or day, but nonetheless, amen, today we have a couple of our young people uh, that are going to um, sing for us. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Amen. So they're going to do some singing for us. Amen. And, and then this week, particularly on Tuesday, correction, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, and possibly Thursday, amen, our theme for the month has been, you know, spiritual growth from maturity, but on this Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, because we're going right into the Christmas or the Advent season, amen, we're going to be focusing on that aspect. They'll be singing, they'll be, uh, you know, the crew is going to sing and every, it's going to be a lot happening. So don't forget, six o'clock on this Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Amen. So we, so come on, sister, um, look at my paper, can't write. Now, this is interesting. I just got a compliment from one of our Suffolk bishops says, what a tremendous membership you have. Tremendous. I got awards, and I'm looking at this stuff now. He wouldn't, he wouldn't agree with me now. 
Amen. Come on, Sister Serenity. She's going to come. Amen. In fact, yeah, Serenity, you're you going to come. Serenity's going to come. I understand. Uh, Mila's going to come. Amen. And Jeremiah's going to come. They're going to sing three separate songs separately. Amen. And, and, and as they're coming, amen, let's receive them. Um, Camille Olivia's not here today, so she's not going to be able to play for us. Amen. Uh, Sister Cammie, Cameline, Evangelist, get them ready. Get the crew ready. Get the crew ready for this week. Get them ready. You know, they'll be, they be ready. <laughs> get the crew. Get them, get them ready. Get them, get them, get them ready. So. All right, Sister Serenity is going to be singing. You, you tell them what you're going to sing. Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching over silent flocks by night, behold, throughout the heavens, oh, there shone a holy light. While shepherds feared and trembled, when low above the earth,
Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. You want to start? What, 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 what's it? His note. We'll come in. We'll come in. Brother, get some help now to get up. I can't get up. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Serenity. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Neela. Thank you so very much. Amen, 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 amen. Let me let me see who I'm gonna call now. An adult now. Who I'm gonna call now? Mm, I have my glasses on. All right. Uh, don't put, don't put your head down, because I'll I, I call you. Thank you. We appreciate Thank you so much for our young people for, for that song, those songs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen, amen. And this week we'll be going for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, if you would. Thank you, sir. Amen. If you would turn this um, morning in the book of the Gospel of St. Madonna. Luke, the gospel of St. Luke. <laughs> St. Luke chapter. Number two. Thank God for the growing that's occurring spiritually in our lives. Amen. How many can remember when they were that age? Ten, nine, I'm guessing, eight, seven. You might remember that age when you were younger. All right. I know for many of you, that's been many decades ago. Amen. Amen. But it's amazing. It's amazing what we think we can't do. And then once we get through it, we find, oh, I can do that. I can do it again. So uh, I think that's certainly a, way, a word of encouragement 
unto and for all of us. The Gospel of St. Luke, chapter number 2. And uh, yes, 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 indeed. Commencing, if you would, beginning that verse. Number 8, and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior. Somebody say Savior. Which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from, uh, from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all that heard it wondered at the, those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Can the church say amen? That verse number 13 and 14, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Our society has done an outstanding marketing PR campaign when it comes to Christmas. They have done a phenomenal job. To the point and to the extent that marketing, marketing says, wear your red, wear your green, because it's Christmas. Bring in the poinsettias. Put lights on the houses. Put reefs out. And then they've done a great job. Put a tree up. Get a big bowl. If you get in a car, get a small bowl. If you get in a diamond ring. And, and, and then go forth and enjoy Christmas. They've done a great job. They've, I mean, I have to 
give the top of my hands to them. They've done a great, it's about marketing. And I think we sometimes in the church or Christendom may not have done so well. Now we do have a couple things we do definitely do. We do, we do tell people, Jesus is the reason for the season. Hallelujah, right? We, we, y'all heard that, right? We, that other thing we do in marketing-wise in the church, we tell them also, uh, Jesus is the reason for the season. And yes, that's other. Keep Christ. Yeah, that, those are two major marketing ploys. Keep Christ in Christmas, and Jesus is the reason for the season. I think perhaps maybe we could do a little better. Perhaps we can improve in our marketing about Jesus, about the Christ. Maybe we can do better. Maybe we can really do better because really it really is about the birth of Christ before they had the stuff that came out it was about the birth of Christ now I, I, I'm not knocking it by any means I want I don't mind receiving a gift, and I say thank you, and, and that's, that's appropriate and apropos. But about a mile south on Route 9, there's a store that is called the Winterwood Gift and Christmas Shop. You can't miss it. I've never gone in there. But according to their Facebook page, it is the largest and the oldest Christmas store in the state. They've got three locations now. One's in Wildwood, one's in Cake May, and one is in Rio Grande. And in, get this, in the, in the summertime... Folk are going in that store in the heat of the summer while others are on the boardwalk. People are going in the store to get decorations for Christmas. I don't know if they're on sale that time period or not, but they, they, they're getting decorations. They, they're getting Trinkets and there one. I mean, there's some probably some really nice things. I got to go in there one of these days just to see what is inside of it. Our marketing for what we see as keeping Christ increase in Christmas and the reason for the season has to go beyond those two expressions. It must rise up to a, another level. Let's look at it carefully. Um, Princess Diana and Prince Charles Their first child they had, before the baby came, particularly over in England, they covered them continuously. Wherever Diana went, the media was following her because she was carrying in her womb 
perhaps one of the heirs to the throne of England. So when, when Harry came out, day one, as soon as he came out of the hospital, pictures are taken. And it kept on going to even right now, Harry is still being followed continually. Diana has passed. Char, uh, Prince Philip has remarried. But there is a coverage of that child. Jesus is born in a manger. No coverage in that capacity like we have now. Except for there was a heavenly coverage. A heavenly coverage that CNN wasn't born yet. Media was not there yet. But heavenly coverage shared and told some shepherds, I got a scoop for you. That it's going to be so dynamic that you're going to get the heads up on those who will find out what has happened. Donna, Evangelist Donna shared on uh, Thursday in regards to Isaiah uh, chapter uh, number 9. And it talked about, we'll be calling counsel, the mighty God. But the same writer, Isaiah, says that he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. So on one hand, he's talking about a, a, a birth, but on the other hand, he's talking about a death. The same writer if the prophecy is correct, it's got to be correct all the way. You can't have partial correctness in prophecy. Either it's true or it's not true. The angel tells these shepherd guys, don't be afraid. And I want you to go, there's some great news, and you'll find the babe in the manger wrapped in swaddling clothes. Suppose the babe was wrapped in um, blue denim. Suppose the baby was up in the penthouse suite. It would throw the prophecy off. It would not, it would not be prophetically sound. They told the shepherds, this is some real, absolute great news. News that is so awesome that your world as you know it is going to change. For born this night in the city of David or in Bethlehem is a savior. Somebody say savior. savior. Born, born this night is a savior. This savior is going to do a job and is going to minister. It's going to, he's going to just transform human nature or human this existence. And they said, like some of us, huh? How could that possibly be? And, and before they got finished sharing some information, all of a sudden, I told you last week, all of a sudden, uh, that 
there was a heavenly host feeling the atmosphere. It wasn't a makeshift band or makeshift choir. There was a heavenly host and the heavenly host began to sing. I don't know what they, what, 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 if there was alto, sopranos, tenors, I'm not sure about all that stuff. But what they said, the Bible says, they began to sing, saying, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. They sang it, they sang it, they sang it in a manner, in a capacity that the heavens filled up. To think, they said, to think that God has come down in the flesh and is going to dwell among men. This is absolutely amazing. I, I think we need to re revisit our marketing uh, plan. I, I, I think our marketing plan got to be bigger than just the reason for the season and, and and I think our marketing plan has to rise up to another level because if he is your savior you've got to tell somebody it, it, Tina, Tina got me today she, that's Tina Span you know she's our our, our consumer advocate. <laughs> Tina, Tina got me, bring Leander in. Tina got me, she said, Pastor, uh, I don't know if you know this or not. She said, uh, Walmart has raisin bran, cereal. She said, the big box. A dollar twenty-five. Now, now, Tina knows because she's our consumer advocate. And I'm not sure how many Tina got. But she said, this is such a great deal. I've got to share it with somebody else. You know what? Christ is such a great deal. Christ is such a, a wonderful Savior. Christ is such a, an awesome God. Christ who is the Prince of Peace. Christ who is the Alpha and the Omega. Christ who is the beginning and the end. is such a wonderful deal. I've got to share it with some. I've got to share him with somebody else. I'm going to show you how awesome this Christ is. The Bible says this way, with God, nothing is impossible. See, yeah, such, such statements like that just mess me up. Just cause me some problems and with God, nothing is in, with God, nothing is impossible. That just stops my, I mean, with God, nothing, with God, nothing is impossible. With God, BBCC won the song, he can handle it, the song, he can, he can handle it. God, God, God to say that the Bible says, the, the prophets say that with God, the angel said, with God, nothing is impossible. Coincides with the scripture in Ephesians, now unto him. That's able to do exceeding, abundantly, above all I ask or think according to the power that worketh within me now unto him who's able to do more than what I can have them in my mind and, and, and now I can understand with God nothing is impossible because my level goes, my level is only here Lord, Lord I, I realize now that the possibilities of you are absolutely endless 
So the other morning, about four o'clock or five o'clock, when I get up and go look outside, and I see all the shooting stars, just shooting all over. Just, just, I'm just, I'm in amaze. I'm looking up. Wow, wow. NPR told me it's going to happen, so I'm looking. Wow, wow. I mean, they're, they're shooting. They're going. They're here, nigga. And they're, shoot, go on. And I realized how awesome our God is. And he's in control of the shooting stars. And they're wonderful. To, if you're a stargazer, they're wonderful. Wow, that's more. Who? Ah, oh, ooh, big, bigger than the uh, fireworks on the 4th of July. Come on, y'all. Y'all seen it. The fireworks and y'all. Wow, ooh. God is bigger than that. God is bigger than that. And so here, here in this little bitty text, in this little bitty text, it simply says that there was a great host of angelic beings. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. Tell somebody he's coming. Tell somebody he's here. Yeah, all oh, I've been waiting, been waiting for, but now he has come. Emmanuel. And so, yes, thank you, sir. Go tell it on the corner. Go tell it on your job. Let's market, let's improve our marketing of Christ. Christ. Let's, let's improve our marketing. Let's, let's, let's brag, let's brag, let's brag on our God. If individuals can wear their garb and and have this on and that on and have a multitude I'm not have a multitude of tattoos covering the face except for the eyes I mean what a, don't put that but what about us what about us opening our mouths and telling somebody else how good God's been uh, minister Al uh, normally is you got a hat today sir you have a hat it's an army hat isn't it Man believes in wearing an army hats. So you got a multitude of army hats. Amen. And, and can, can I borrow the hat? Thank you, sir. I'm not going to put it on. It's okay. It's a, he's a Vietnam vet, veteran. He says, God bless you, sir. And it says, proudly served. Ne, ne, um, yeah, veteran. Vietnam veteran. Wow. Army man, right? If he can proudly wear his Vietnam veteran proudly served hat. Why can't we wear a cross? Why, why, can't we, why can't we wear a hat that says, Jesus saves? <laughs> well, I don't, I, don't want to, I don't want to offend, I don't want to offend somebody. Listen, <laughs> please. <laughs> so, folk, folk need, <laughs> you got that, huh? Folk need to be pleased. Folk need to be offended. Because the angel said, glory to God in the highest. There has come on earth the, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. There is a difference. If, any, if there's any reason for us to be excited, it's excitement about the fact that he is here. He has come. Start spreading the news. Oh, that's, that's, say it on top of the mountain. He's here. He's here. He has come. He has come. That blind man, Bartimaeus, says, thank you, Jesus. The demonic says, hallelujah. The woman who was caught in the act of adultery says, thank you, Jesus. 
Come on, come on. So the man who was, who, who was, so to speak, in 40 years of conditions, the Lord, he says, thank you, Jesus. The lepers and those who were uh, uh, in leprosy, they're saying, thank you, Jesus. And if they can say thank you, Jesus, then in 2021, on this the 19th day of December, somebody ought to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Wonderful point setters, but thank you, Jesus. Marvelous reefs, but thank you, Jesus. Beautiful reds and greens, but thank you, Jesus. He has come that we, and in the fullness of time, The coverage was different for Jesus than it was for Princess Diana and, and Prince, uh, Fitz, Prince Charles. It was different, but I'm telling you, the, the impact is way, way greater. <laughs> way greater. Way greater. Way greater. She's caught in the middle. Which way to go? Amen. How long halt you between two opinions? Amen. She said, I'm not, she's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Listen, sister, brothers, if there's really any reason to get excited, and I sincerely mean that, not because I'm old man, if we can get excited that Christ has come, he's here, he's here, he's our savior, he's the prince of peace, he's the everlasting father, he is the alpha, the omega, the first and the last, He's our help. He's the son of God. He's the son of man. He, he's the prince of peace. I mean, and the list goes on. All I'm saying to you is don't let the world's marketing stop you. I'll say, I'll say Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'll say, because you know, season's greeting has its place. That's all right. I can say Merry Christmas. Amen. I can say thank you, Jesus. Amen. Don't let anyone stop you from telling God thank you. The Bible says, and I'm done. For God so loved the world that he gave. He sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. That ain't why he came. He didn't want to condemn you. Amen. But he's come to transform our lives. And I'm glad, I'm excited about it. I am excited about Christ being in my life. If you're excited about the Lord being in your life, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you're excited that the Lord has come and that he came according to prophecy, somebody shout amen. amen. If you're excited, if you're really glad and appreciative and thankful and your gratitude just overflows because God is who he says he is. If he did that, then he's got the prophecy has to be correct. Your sons and your daughters shout. He, it's got to be correct. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, now we thank you. Thank you for moving and ministering in our lives. We are not ashamed of the gospel. We're not ashamed to say Jesus. We're not ashamed to call you by your name. Your word says that you were highly exalted and given a name that's above every name. The name, 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 at the name of Jesus. At your name, demons howl. At your name, Lord, deliverances occur. At your name, life is given. At your name, Lord, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 
Jesus. 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 Kings in the kingdom shall all pass away. But there's something about that name. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you have come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. By your spirit, by your power. We walk in it, we receive it. We stand on a firm foundation. Thank you, Lord, right now. Thank you, Lord, right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Salvation has come because of Christ. Salvation, our Savior, is here. Jesus has come. And we tell you thank you. We tell you thank you. We say thank you, Jesus, for being who you are. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and amen. Kings and their kingdoms. Pastor Boone's will come and make the altar call momentarily. Kings and their kingdoms shall all fade away. But there's something about that name. Kings and their kingdoms shall all fade away. But there's something about that name. Jesus, 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 there's something, something about that name, he's my master, my savior, he's she. Jesus, like the fragrance after the rain. Oh, 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 oh Jesus, That's true. Jesus, Jesus, let all heaven and earth. They shall all Jesus. pass away, Hallelujah. but there's something Hallelujah. about, Hallelujah. yes, there's something about. the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Is there really, come on, that was a little soft. Is there really something about the name? The scripture Bishop read today for all of us was he talked about Jesus coming with goodwill. I think that's what, goodwill towards us. Goodwill towards us. There is an opportunity, praise God, for us to be able to be in the presence of a God that has goodwill towards us. Goodwill is he wants you to be healed. Goodwill 
He wants your mind to be at peace. Goodwill, he wants you to be delivered. Goodwill is he loves you with a love that goes beyond understanding. Goodwill, goodwill, hallelujah. Praise God. If you need that, if you need the God of goodwill, could you just stand where you are? Just, just stand where you are right now. If you knew if it had not been for the Lord on your side, you wouldn't be here today. If it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, if, if it had not been when you had to go through that situation that was so horrible, if it had not been for the Lord who's on your side. Is that your testimony though? Can you lift your hands up to him? Can you lift your hands up and tell him thank you? Get it, get it in your head. Get the memory of, of that sickness in your, in your mind when God stepped in. Get, get that, get that. Because that's, that's where you go to the place of being grateful. That's, that's, the, that's the place that makes you say, God, I thank you. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. But if it had not been for the Lord, I'd be out of my mind. I would be out. That's not your testimony though, right? But me, for me, I would be out of my mind. Is that your testimony? Do you know if it had not been for the Lord? If it had not been for the Lord, you would have quit. Come on, you would have quit. You would have given up. But God stepped in just when you were done. Bless the name of God. Bless his name. Oh, somebody say, God, thank you. Somebody just thank him. Come on. Just thank God. I thank you, Lord. I thank you when. I thank you when. You know the date, the time, and the place. You knew how it was. God, I thank you when. I thank you when I had almost quit. Oh, God, when I was about ready to throw in the towel. When I was right, hallelujah, at my brokenness, he stepped in, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. And so, praise God, if, if there is somebody who needs somebody to pray with you today, if you need someone to pray with you to, to get to that peace place that God has designed, there's a, there's a come up this way. If, there, if you want someone to pray with you, come on up. The ministerial staff is going to go into the room there. So if you come up and you go out that door, someone will meet you right outside that door. Come on, ministry. Come on, somebody else. If you're standing on the brink right now, if you're at the place right now, hallelujah, there's a decision that you've got to make and you don't know how to do it. You don't know if you'll be able to make it. Come quickly now. Come quickly as the ministers meet you. Praise God outside hallelujah the door his name is Jesus his name is Jesus his name is Jesus there is none like him there'll be there'll never be another beside him but when time is wrapped up and when the earth is no more Jesus will still be standing praise God bishop Thank you, Pastor. To God be the glory for the great, miraculous, wonderful things he has done in Jesus' name. Those who are watching by Facebook, are you still on? Are you still on? Okay. Yes, you can uh, call the church, 465-PRAY, 465-7729. Amen. And someone will be ready to pray with you even at this time period. God bless you. I pray that the Lord will strengthen you and keep you and guide you and fortify you only as he can. Amen. What a mighty God, awesome God we serve in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen. So sisters and brothers, as we conclude momentarily again, thank you for being a part of the service. Amen. We will. Amen. I believe the, the one o'clock is where they're planning to start the uh, giveaway at one o'clock. I believe there's some things. They also have some food if you're interested in having some
leg of lamb. 